Fun fact, the Model 2 is actually coming. The 2Q, the compact, whatever you want to call it. And it's coming, and it's coming soon. So, and we know it. We know it. I'm telling you, I know. Uh, I can tell you the who, what, where, when, why. I can answer all your cues. So why don't we do that real quick? <laughs> and yeah, it's going to be one of those videos. So I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla walk around and make a video on the weekend. Now we're going to talk about the Model 2 because it's exciting. But first, we've got to talk about yesterday's video, the one about uh, there not being a share buyback until 2023, maybe in the second half. Certainly not in 22. Why are we talking about it? Well, because I got a lot of very angry viewers. People thinking that, like, maybe I'm not a hyper bull, which I am. Uh, I have extreme, extreme confidence in Tesla and Elon. Uh, but I have also extreme confidence that there will not be a buyback. Not anytime soon, because it would be crazy. It'd be reckless. It'd be the sort of thing that would open up to a lawsuit and he would lose it. And I had people who I'd never heard from before saying, oh, stay in your lane. You don't know what you're talking about. But I do. This is my lane. Uh, I get it. Uh, people who are excited about the waves he's causing, the ripples in the little pond that is Twitter, they love it. It's bad for Tesla, period, full stop. Maybe it's not going to hurt Tesla, but it's not going to help. It's definitely not. It can't. It's taking engineering time away from the engineers. Uh, it's creating bad will. It's giving voice to people who probably shouldn't have voices in some cases. I mean, CEOs don't even mention whether they come down on the side of yes to pineapple on pizza or no to pineapple on pizza. And now all of a sudden we're saying that a particular public health figure should be prosecuted. It's a, it's a bad idea. It's truly stupid. And uh, for those saying, oh, yeah, yeah, you shouldn't, you know, I, I'm not going to listen to your stock advice. It's fine. You don't have to. But interestingly, I did pick up a new follower on Twitter. Professor Kogwan is now following me, which is very exciting. So maybe I'm doing something right. Uh, anyway, let's walk around, shall we? Let's go to the store and talk about the upcoming robo-taxi, the Compact Model 2. So if we're going to go Q by Q, which uh, we kind of should, the first one is who. doesn't sound like it makes any sense, but I promise you it does. The who is, you know, uh, what car is it? I thought the robo-taxi was coming next. It is coming next. That is not the point. But so is the compact. How can that be? Yeah, the car is one and the same. Yeah, we started piecing that together. It used to sound like two different products, but it's not. What is the robo-taxi actually? It is all cars. It's the big ones, the little ones, the in-betweens. Now, I thought we might see the canoe-style kind of thing show up first. But no, it's not going to be that. It's going to be... It's going to be the compact. That's what's coming next. So what actually is it? It is the model. It's a, it's a car. It's a, it's whatever the model is. X3. No, it's not the Model X times three. It's not a third of the Model X. It's not a boy band or an album or a video game or a movie. X3 seems quite popular. I guess I should have specified. It's not even uh, the BMW or the Chinese or all the other cars that are already called the X3. No, it's a... Uh, it's just a car times three. That's what I believe. It's a compact, it's cheap, it's simple, it's quick to build, but it's gonna come in three varieties, one for each design center. So there's gonna be one for the US, there's gonna be one for China, there's gonna be one for Germany. This isn't something I'm just confident about. I mean, all the pieces are there, it all makes sense. We know where they're going. We know where they're going. So we covered the who and the what. So obviously the next part to cover is the where. So where? Where are we going to build it? Well, uh, I've got a few candidate places in mind. Berlin is an obvious one. Do you notice they've been clearing a bunch of land? What are they going to build there in Berlin? Are they going to build uh, more Model Ys? Nah, they got enough capacity for that. And a bunch more that's still untapped. Are they can start building Model 3s? No, I think that's a legacy car that might be, might be kind of drifting out of favor in, in coming months and years. Besides, Shanghai can build those in huge, huge numbers. Why build a whole nother line for that? 
Now, what do we got? We got the compact. They're not going to be building semis. They're not going to be building cyber trucks. They got the semi and a lot of land and something that's going in and soon. Let's look at the other properties. Shanghai, well, they're out of land. But they've been talking about building another facility there, another factory, for better part of a year. It's coming. It's coming soon and it's coming nearby. Why? What do they need to build? Not Model 3, not Model Y, certainly not Model S and X. No, they're going to be building the Model Q, the compact, the robo taxi, with its own localized design. In Texas, they've got a whole bunch more land cleared. Why? So they can build more Model Ys? No. The Cybertruck line is already going into the main building. So what are they clearing land for? Maybe it's the compact. Maybe. It's going in everywhere and it's going in fast. So when is it going to happen? When? Uh, would you believe we're going to see an announcement this year? Uh, not 22, within the year, by the end of 23. But unlike the longer product cycles we've seen, where it takes two, three, five years to make a car, this one is going to take months. It will not be announced until it is basically ready to go, until they've got everything they need so that they can roll them out, so that it doesn't Osborne the Model 3 and the Model Y, so that they've actually got a product that they're basically ready to ship. So what are we going to do with that? That means that, and I kid you not, by the end of 23, we're not only going to see an announcement, but a date, and that date is going to be less than a year out. By the end of 24, we're going to have the compact, and it's going to be a big deal. It's going to be very exciting. And if you're tired of your stock languishing, not doing very well, not performing, this will be a catalyst that will bump it to the next level. So now the question is, why? <laughs> well, because they need some extreme scaling. They need a more affordable car. They need to cover the 60% of the market that is under 50 grand. And in the entry level version, this would absolutely work. Heck, even the trimmed out one would probably work pretty well too. So what they're really doing is making it, uh, making the car they've always said they need. But there's some clues that this is coming, the extreme scaling being one of them. But the other one being, Franz has been hinting in a recent interview that this is exciting. There's something exciting coming up and he can't talk about it. And it's the most exciting design he's ever done. This would be that three times, three versions, three on the same platform on three continents. That would be this. That would be this for sure. Especially if you add to it the fact that it is the robo taxi and the compact and the affordable. So why? Because you can't get to extreme scale. Not with 40, 50, 60 thousand dollar cars. 30, 25, you can do it. And this makes sense because if you've got the structural battery, you could do an LFP for short range, which would work great in European and Chinese markets. And maybe in some applications in the US, but maybe not. But you've got your structural battery pack, your front and rear castings. You might even get a cyber design where it's an origami exoskeleton to carry the weight. But you don't really need it. You could get away with something lighter. There's a lot of possibilities and all of them are exciting and all of them are low cost and all of them are going to absolutely a spank of the competition. So that's what that's all about. So there it is, and there you go. What did I miss? What did I misunderstand? Leave it all in the comments below. And uh, big thanks to my patrons, as always, who get early access, bonus content, all kinds of good stuff. And there's uh, more Patreon uh, exclusive info coming out soon. Don't want to spoil it, but there's some big changes coming, and I think you're going to be pretty interested to see what it is. If you want to keep talking about the Twitter thing, we can do that too. Just leave some comments. I don't care. It doesn't bother me either way. I'm going to say what I got to say. You can always be nice and say nice things, but you don't have to. You can go full Karen and demand to speak to the supervisor of me. It's fine. I don't care. I love you guys either way, even when you're crazy. So stay tuned. Stay juicy. I can't wait to hear from you clever robots on the flippity-flop.